Mga kapatid, nais nice kong ipaalam sa inyo na ang iglesia ng Manila Central ay hindi na itatag dahilan sa isa, dalawa, tatlong tao. Ang iglesia ng Manila Central ay naitatag dahilan sa Diyos at merong Diyos. Ang kasaysayan ang magsasabi sa atin sa nakaraan na merong nagtagumpay at merong pagtatagumpay. I would like to tell you, Church, the God who founded Manila Central Church is the same God that will bring this church when Jesus come up to heaven. Kung ang Diyos na nagtatag ng iglesia noon at taon-taon na kanyang pinapatnubayan, iniingatan, pinagpapala, kinakasangkapan, at ang Diyos pa rin ang magdadala sa kanyang iglesia pagdating niya sa ikalawa. Alam po ninyo napakabuting pakinggan ang mga diwa na mga ating narinig na mga awitin. May those who come behind us find us what? Faithful. Ang Diyos mula nung kanyang itinatag ang iglesia ng Manila Central, ni minsan hindi tayo binigo ng Panginoon. Ni minsan sa kabila ng pinagdaanan ng atin pong iglesia, ng liderato ng iglesia ng ito mga kapatid, Humarap tayo sa iba't ibang mga hamon, financial maging si spiritual. Never yet, my friends, na tayo ay kinalimutan o di kaya'y pinabayaan ng ating Panginoon. May the Lord be praised this morning, church. Siya ang dahilan noon, siya ang dahilan ngayon, at siya pa rin ang magiging dahilan ng iglesia ng Manila Central, ang buong kapatiran ay iglesia ang ililigtas ng Panginoon sa ikalawa. May those who come behind us find us faithful, my dear friends. Masumpungan nawa tayong tapat sa ating pananampalataya, sa ating paglalakbay, sa katotohanan na minsan na ating niyakap at yayakapin natin hanggang sa dumating ang Panginoon. Maraming salamat anak sa diwa ng iyong inawit. Ikaw pala yung napanood ko sa TV. I salute you. While she was singing, I wanted to shed tears. Amazing grace. Young as is, subalit mga kapatid, may paninindigan sa katotohan. I would rather lose the competition that to put at stake my faith Kaysa isusugal ko ang aking pananampalataya, hindi bali akong matalo. Subalit sa harapan ng Panginoon, panalo ako. Victory through Christ ang inyo pong tema, mga kapatid. Nabanggit ko sa inyo kanina na ang kasaysayan sa lumang tipan, kasaysayan mula nung itinatag ang iglesyang ito, ay kasaysayan na magpapaalala sa iyo pong sa bawat isa sa atin, mga kapatid, na nag, may, pagtatagum, may pagtagumpay, may pagtatagumpay, at patuloy ang pagtatagumpay. Naalala natin, mga kapatid, ang kasaysayan ng bansang Israel. Inilibas sila mula doon sa pagkalipin sa Egypt, sa mahabang panahon, at nung sila'y nakalabas, sinamahan sila ng Panginoon. From inside out, 
God was with them. At sa kanilang paglalakbay, alam natin ang kasaysayan ng bayan ng Diyos. Na ang kasaysayan ng bayan ng Diyos sa nakaraan ay kasaysayan pa rin ng bayan ng Diyos sa kasalukuyan. Panginoon na naglabas sa pagkalipin, Panginoon na kasama nila sa kanilang paglalakbay ng karanasan ng bayan ng Diyos in the olden times ay karanasan na parabagang nakikipaglaro lamang sa ating Panginoon. They experience ups and downs. They experience struggles in life, both in families, both personal, and both in the leadership of Moses. Subalit sa kabila ng bagay na yun, mga kapatid, ang Diyos ay napakabuti pa rin sa kanyang bayan. Sabi ni Moses sa Panginoon, Panginoon, yayamang itilaga po ninyo ako para pangunahan ng bansang Israel. Gusto kong makatiya. Gusto kong malaman, Panginoon, who is going with me as we journey on to the promised land. Sabi ng Panginoon, tatay, kay Moses, I will not go with you. Kung itinatag ng Panginoon ang Iglesia ng Central 98 years ago, at hindi siya yung Panginoon na kasama natin sa pangangasiwa ng Iglesia, di sinsanay wala ng Manila Central sa ngayon. What can you say? Sabi ni Moses, Panginoon, Kung hindi kasasama sa amin, better not what? We will not move on. Church, you cannot move on from this time on unless the presence of God will always be with you. Sabi ng Diyos kay Moses, Moses, if I go with you, baka pupuksain ko lang sila. Better not. Panginoon, kung hindi nyo kami sasamahan, we do not know. Ang sabi na, hindi namin alam kung ano ang aming haharapin sa aming paglalakbay. I will not move on. Pagkaraan ng ilang araw, God spoke to Moses again. At ang sabi, Daddy, ng Diyos kay Moses, My presence will go with you. What can you say? From today, my church, until you reach 100 years, ang pangako ng Panginoon, My presence will go with you. What can you say, Pong? Napakasarap, mga kapatid, na tayo'y maging kanib ng iglesia. Napakasarap na meron tayong pananampalataya. Na yung ating pananampalataya ang nagsasabi na merong Diyos noon, merong Diyos ngayon, at merong Diyos na nangako that my presence will go with you. Come on, you move on. Meron tayong mga iglesia, mga kapatid, Ilan taon nang existing ang ating church. But until now, still they cannot move on. Meron tayo mga iglesia na matagal na na sumasamba. And yet kung babalikan ang kanilang kasaysayan, wala man lang silang mabanggit na isang church na naging anak ng kanilang iglesia. Sabi ng Diyos kay Moses, Kuya Abed, you have no reason not to move on. You have no reason not to step your foot forward again. Because my promise is sure, 
my presence will go with you. Nung natanggap ni Moses yung pangako ng Diyos, my presence will go with you, oh my millions of God's people in the olden times, sabi ni Moses, how could I lead God's people as we journey on to the promised land? I'm the only one. But God said, Moses, you are not alone. You are not alone. Church, as you face challenges in your personal life, in your family life, in your work life, and in your faith, as we face struggles, I would like to assure you the promise of God is certain and true. My presence will go with you. Move on. Asa na inilagay ng Panginoon na hari ng Israel mula doon sa pagkalipin mga haring kanilang sinamba ang iba't ibang diyos but when Asa was placed to the leadership of God's people, he removed everything Nagkaroon ng revival and reformation. He was a man of prayer. He was a man with a vision. He was a man with strong faith in God. He was a man who experienced God's amazing grace. Ang sabi ni Asa sa Panginoon, Panginoon, they are many but we are only few. They are stronger than we. We are just like grasshoppers. We are nomads with them. But as I said, I will put my trust in you, O God. I will rely on you. We are nomads. We are just but what? A dirt in the eyes of the enemies. Even though there are many ang sabi niya sa, bagaman sila yung marami sa bilang, ang labanan naman, it's not many against few. Ang labanan naman, kung sino ang merong Diyos. At yung Diyos niya sa, ay Diyos ng Iglesia ng Manila Central Church. Tagumpay na ibinigay kay Moses, tagumpay na ibinigay kay Asa, tagumpay na patuloy na ipaparanas ng Panginoon sa kanyang iglesia kapag sila ay mananatiling magtatapat sa Diyos until He comes. Joseph! You know the story of Joseph, my friends. He was sold. He was thrown into the pit. He was put behind bars. Lahat ay kanyang dinanas. But I would like to believe, my friends, ang dahilan kung bakit ganon ang karanasan niya sapagkat merong pangako ang Diyos. Pangako ng pagtatagumpay. Pagtatagumpay not only for Joseph. Pagtatagumpay not only for the leadership of God's people. Pagbagkos pagtatagumpay ng buong bansang Israel. The same promise, my friends, na ibinigay ng Panginoon, ibinigay niya ngayon, at ibibigay pa rin hanggang sa dumating ang ating tagapagligtas. Hold on! Move on! The presence of God is with us. Daniel, hindi po si Daniel malaban. Daniel of old, kung atin pong babasahin ang aklat ni Daniel, ilan ho ba ang kapitulo meron ng Daniel? There are how many? There are 12 chapters in the book of Daniel. I would like to remind you, church, Without Daniel 1, walang Daniel 2, brother Jess. You're still young. 
Without Daniel 1, there is no Daniel 3, Daniel 4, and on to Daniel 12. But there is one passage in the book of Daniel chapter 1. Na kung wala yung talatang yun mga kapatid, walang dos, walang tres, walang kwatro, walang hanggang dose, walang apokalipsis, at wala ring Seventh-day Adventist Church. Just because of that very short passage, the Church of God came out. From Jerusalem, they were brought to where? Huh? From Jerusalem, saan sila dinala? Dinala sila doon saan? Sa Babylon. Sadrach, Mesach, and Abednego. Young men from Jerusalem who belong to the royal family were brought to a foreign land. Wala silang kilala doon mga kapatid. Walang Diyos na totoo sa Babylon. But I would like to tell you, church, from Daniel 1 and on, ang dahilan kung bakit sila'y nagtagumpay sapagkat yung Diyos na hindi nila iniwanan doon sa Jerusalem, dinala nila hanggang doon sa Babylonia. Dumaan sila ng iba't ibang pagsubok, siya rin ang Diyos na hindi nag-iwan sa kanyang mga tapat na mga anak. Salamat sa magulang ni Sadrach, Mesach, and Abednego. Young as they were, age 18, 16, 17, just like you, my beloved anak. They stood for the right to the heavens fall. They stood for God no matter what. Because they knew that the presence of God who was with them is the same presence who will be with them and on while they were in captivity. Church, listen. They changed their names. Yes or no? Pinalitan yung kanilang mga pangalan. Sabi ni Bani, ni Haring Nabucodonosor, you changed their name. Dahil tuwing naririnig nila ang kanilang pangalan, they are reminded of their God. Changed their name. Their names were changed. But their spirit did not change. Hello? Their names were changed, but their hearts are the same. Their names were changed. The environment was changed. The people around them are new people. And yet, my dear friends, nothing has changed as far as their focus and their faith in God is concerned. Alam ninyo mga kapatid, sa oras na nagbago ang ating focus sa ating pong buhay, never you will experience victory in life. Nabago na't lahat, pero hindi pa rin nagbabago ang kanilang paninindigan. Natalo na't lahat, subalit ang sabi niya ay, Panalo pa rin kami sa Panginoon, Kuya Jess. Nakiusap si Daniel. Ang pakiusap ni Daniel ay, Give us the king's meat. Hello? Yes or no? Give us the king's meat. Yes or no? No! No! Alam niyo mga kapatid, ang mga Adventista, they live a very humble life. Humble yet simple life. That's you. And that's me.
Give us just what? Water to drink. And what else? Give us vegetables and fruits. Ang sabi nung inutusan ni Nabucodonosor ay, No! No! Hello? Did he say that no? You cannot read that in the Bible, right? Hindi naman niya sinabi, No! Papatayin ako ni Nabucodonosor. No! Instead, before Daniel made the request, God already spoke to Aspenas and told Aspenas, Hey, when they make a request, even without consulting Nebuchadnezzar, grant the request. You see, the God who was with them in Jerusalem is the same God who is with them in Babylon. The God who started Manila Central Church is the same God who is leading this church until the coming of Jesus. Mga kapatid, ni minsan hindi tayo pinabayaan ng Panginoon. Ni minsan hindi tayo binigo ng Panginoon. Ni minsan hindi natin nakitang nagkulang ang Panginoon sa kabila ng maraming pagkukulang mga kapatid. Sapagkat ang kanyang pangako, pinili kita, inangkin kita, ikaw ang akin, ako ang bahala sa iyo, just keep moving on. Binigay ni Aspenas ang request ni Daniel. Verse 8, Daniel chapter 1. Ito yung text, mga kapatid. Daniel decided. Daniel determined. Daniel purposed in his heart not what? Not to defile his what? Not to defile his body. And not only that, my church, ang sabi dun, Daniel decided not to destroy, not to give up the faith the Lord has given to them. Church, that's the message of the hour. Ipinagkaloob sa atin ng Diyos ang pananampalataya. Ibinigay sa atin ng Panginoon ang focus na dapat lagi natin tignan samantalang tayo naglalakbay. Ang sabi ng talata, Daniel determined, decided in his heart that he will remain faithful to the Lord no matter what until Jesus comes. Kung bumigay si Daniel sa alok ni Aspenas, mga kapatid, meron bang Daniel to? No way. Meron bang Apokalipsis? Hindi kumpleto ang Biblia. Meron bang Seventh-day Adventist Church? Marahil ay wala, mga kapatid. The only religion on earth nang naayon sa prophesia ay walang iba kundi ang Seventh-day Adventist Church. Hey, that's you. That's me. That's your church. That's my church. That is our church. A prophetic church which according to prophecy, whether you like it or not, Jesus is going to save when He comes. We hear victory preach on the pulpit. Yes or no? We even sing victory in Jesus. Yes or no? We even pray, give us victory. Pagkaraan ng ilang araw, isang linggo, kung atin pong evaluate ang mga nagdaan na mga oras, araw sa ating buhay, we failed to achieve victory. Something is missing. Something is missing. Hello? Merong kulang, mga kapatid. Ano ho? Panginoon, samahan po ninyo kami. Panginoon, gusto po namin nagpagdagumpay. At the end of the week, 
we fail. Something must be wrong. Not with God. Marahil sa iyo tatay o di kaya sa akin. Church, I would like to tell you, the victory God promised to His people in the Old Testament the same promise that He has given to the people in the New Testament and will continue to be the promise God will give to His people the Seventh-day Adventist Church until He comes. The promise of victory. I would like to read to you five passages in the Bible, mga kapatid. For you to know Ang mga pagpapalang ito, alam mo ba ninyo, tinanong minsan si General Douglas MacArthur na ang tanong ay, what is the most important lesson a soldier fighting a war needs to learn? Alam mo ba ninyo ang sagot ni MacArthur? He must learn quickly that there is no substitute for victory. Sa oras na pumasok ang isang sundalo, tanggapin niya o hindi, meron digman o wala, ang laman ng kanyang isipan, ng kanyang puso, at ng kanyang kaluluwa, ay pawang pagtatagumpay, there is no other substitute. Hindi naman tayo mga sundalong katulad ng sundalo ng Pilipinas. Tayo'y mga sundalo ng Panginoon. Mga kapatid, papaalalahan ko lang kayo ha. Sundalo nga tayo ng Panginoon pero ang focus natin hindi pagtatagumpay. Maring ang focus natin ay pagtatagumpay sa atin na mga anak, gusto natin makapagtapos ng pag-aaral makapagtrabaho, makapagtayo ng pamilya, ng masaya, matatag na pamilya para sa atin, that's already victory. Sa mga magulang, wala silang hangad na makita ang kanilang mga anak na sila'y nakapagtapos, nakapag-asawa, nakapaghanap buhay, masaya ang pamilya, fulfilled ang kanilang mga magulang. To them, that's victory. Subalit sa larangan ng pananampalataya, mga kapatid, hindi yun sapat. Ang nais nice ng Panginoon sa kanyang mga anak, lalong-lalo na sa huling kapanahunan, na ituon natin ang ating pong mga isipan, ang ating mga puso, ang ating mga espiritu at ang ating mga kaluluwa, sa pawang pagtatagumpay, pagtatagumpay, hindi sa larangan ng mga bagay na may kasiraan, kundi sa larangan ng pananampalataya. Seek the Lord while He may be found, and everything will be added unto us. Church, I would like to tell you, the secret of God's people's victory in the olden times, it's because God was the focus of the lives. And if Jesus is the focus of our lives today, we can also be what? Victorious and successful in life kahit anong larangan Mga kapatid, magiging matagumpay tayo. Sa iyo anak, hindi lamang sila humanga doon sa TV. Humanga ang iglesia sa iyo. Humanga ang Panginoon sa iyo. Yan ang pagtatagumpay. Victory begins in Christ and through Christ. There is no other way, my church. Let me say that again. Victory begins in Christ. And through Christ, 
There is no other way. Narito ho ang limang mga talata sa bagong tipan. John 15 verse 33. Nais nice kong basahin mga kapatid. At ito ang kanyang pagkasabi. 15 verse 23. Oh. Romans 8.37 Romans 8.37 37. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. 1 John 5, 4 and 5. 1 John chapter 5. Verses 4 and 5. For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Philippians 4.13 Philippians 4.13 Ang sabi po ng talata I can do all things through Him who gives me strength. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57 Listen to what Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 15 Verses, verse 57. But thanks be to God, He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, praise God, my dear church. Hallelujah to the name of God. Ang pagtatagumpay ng bawat isa ay hindi sa larangan ng lahat ng bagay na ginusto natin ay ating nakuha, subalit nawawala. Ang tagumpay ng bawat isa sa lahat ng larangan ay nagsisimula sa Panginoon at sa pamamagitan ng Panginoon. There is no other way, my dear church. Minamahal kong mga kapatid, balikan natin sa daanan Natisod tayo, nang lupaypay tayo, nang hina tayo, nasaktan tayo, nabigo tayo, and yet narito pa rin tayo simply because God is so amazing. Kahanga-hanga ang pag-ibig at biyaya ng atin pong Panginoong Hesus. Dahilan sa kanyang kabut. Dahilan sa kanyang kadakilan sa atin pong iglesia. Dahilan sa kanyang presensyang ibinigay noon, ipinangako ngayon, at patuloy na ipinaparanas sa kanyang iglesia, ay mananatili ito mga kapatid hanggang sa pagdating ng Panginoon sa ikalaw. Church, brothers and sisters, wherever you and me go, bring Jesus always with you. Whatever you and me to do, take Jesus always with you. Forget Jesus and you will lose everything. If you take Him wherever you go, whatever you do, the promise is certain and sure. Victory is yours and victory is ours until the appearing of the Lord Jesus for the second time. Church, I would like to encourage you to be faithful to the Lord. Church, I would like to encourage you, let us walk humbly before the Lord. Church, I would like to encourage you, let us hold on the faith. Church, I would like to encourage you, let us hold on to the church. 
Let us hold on to God and let us hold on to the truth. Church, if God was with us in the past, and if God is with us today, there is no reason, my dear friends, for you and for me not to move on. Let us all together, by God's amazing grace and by God's assurance, to move on, to walk on, until the appearing of the Lord Jesus for the second time. Dalangin ko mga minamahal ko mga kapatid, sana wala nang 99 years of celebration ng inyong Manila Central Church. Are you still expecting of the 99th year? Huh? Dalangin ko sana wala nang centennial. Pastor, hindi ka na namin iimbitahan. Alin ang mas gusto ninyo, mga kapatid? May 99, may centennial, o dumating na ang Panginoon? Kuya Abet, kung si Pastor Manlaban lang mananalangin. Dok, pag ako lang mananalangin, Daddy, mga kapatid, kung ako lang, ilan lang kaming mananalangin, mga kapatid, na wala ng 99th, wala ng centennial ang Manila Central, hindi matutupad. Subalit kung lahat tayo ay mananalangin ng panalangin natin, Panginoon, wala ng 99, wala ng centennial. Sasamahan na namin si Pastor Malabad kasama ang mga elders na ito ng panalangin namin. Dumating na ho kayo. Para yung aming paghihirap ay matapos na. Para yung aming pagtatagumpay ay amin ang makita. Para yung Diyos na nanguna sa amin noon, nangunguna ngayon at patuloy na nangunguna sa church, ay amin ang makita ng personal. Hindi lang yon Panginoon. Gusto namin yung Panginoon na may butas sa kanyang mga palad may mga bakat ng ano ho, ng corona sa kanyang mga sa kanyang mga no i want we want to see him face to face in that heavenly home church if that is your prayer today no more 1990 no more celebration ng centennial sa manila centra church but you wish Jesus to come before 99, would you like to stand up and say, Lord, we join in prayers. Dani Malabad and all the leaders, please come so quickly so we can go home. God bless you. God bless you.